Do you know why Japanese sake pairs well with seafood? I'm here for this seminar. Let's find out. Hello, everyone. It's Hideko Koruton. I'm a food and lifestyle specialist living in New York City. I was born and raised in Japan. I love cooking and entertaining at home or anywhere. I will share my passion for food, cocktails, wine, entertaining, and of course, my home sweet town, New York City. So please subscribe to this channel. JETRO, Japan External Trade Organization, kindly invited me to this sake tasting seminar by Timothy Sullivan. Do you really know sake? It's not wine, beer, or spirit. Sake is a blue alcohol made from rice. And sake ingredients are rice, yeast, water, and koji. This chart made by Mr. Sullivan shows you the sake clarification. Rice smiling is a key. And more and more milding, that means pure taste. So minimum of 50% remaining is daiginjo. And junmai means only rice, water, yeast, koji are the ingredients. If added distilled alcohol, that means no more junmai. Koji making by Mr. Sullivan. He goes to Japan to make sake. Did you know that sake doesn't fight with food? Yes, we often drink sake with seafood, especially this salty seafood otsumami. The reason why sake has a lot of you know amino acid, which is umami, and seafood has a lot of umami. That's why. Now it's time to taste the sake with seafood. We have a shrimp and lobster salad. And then we're gonna taste a honjozo, karakuchi honjozo. Karakuchi means dry. Cheers! Kanpai! The first one to taste is daiginjo, which I love. And this sake called Fukukomachi from Akita Prefecture. I love this bottle. The second one to taste is Junmai Ginjo Hakkai-san from Niigata Prefecture. This one is classic clean finish and dry side. I like it. The third one is Junmai called Shichida from Saga Prefecture. Actually, I love this the most. You know why? Because um, it's great balance of sweetness and classic rice for it. The last one to taste is Honjozo. It's called Urakasumi from Miyagi Prefecture. This is very dry. So if you like dry side, this is for you. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please try sake when you eat seafood next time. Thanks, Mr. Sullivan. <laughs>